What are the possible strategies for a sustainable livestock sector that would reduce reliance on live exports while cognizant of the constraints facing the sector? This is one of the questions participants were focused on answering at the dialogue organized by the Agricultural Trade Forum in light of the newly implemented restrictions by South Africa on the import of Namibian livestock, which left the local sector in devastation. Um, so it's basically to say um, or to ask whether to dialogue on what are the future possible strategies that the industry can take um, long term. We are looking more long term. Um, so that we are not facing a similar situation 10 or 20 years down the line and uh, what mitigation strategies and you know, what, what things can we look at um, to do for a sustainable livestock industry at the end of the day. The acting chief veterinary officer at the Ministry of Agriculture was also a speaker at the dialogue. We asked him how far the discussions are with South Africa regarding the new restrictions. We are currently busy with discussions with the developing with the industry in South Africa also, with developing the start and operating procedures. We have already started discussing the draft. This, the first draft was presented last week, which we are hoping will be final by next week, on the 25th of this month. And uh, we are hoping that uh, we will then validate uh, that standard operating procedure within uh, the first two weeks of uh, July. The meat industry is one of the agriculture sector's biggest supporting subsectors, which Namibia's economy heavily depends on. Franju Ulafir reporting for the news on one.